Good evening and welcome to the ITV News in London. Tonight's main stories. They forget that I want to get off and then they swear at me. I hold you personally responsible for this. Wheelchair users make their voices heard over their nightmare journeys on London's buses. Two weeks ago on this programme, we highlighted the problems wheelchair users face on London's buses. We featured one man who's complained to Transport for London 50 times about being left at stops or stuck on buses. Well, since that report, we've been inundated with similar stories. And today we took some of those affected to Stockwell Bus Garage to meet drivers and their bosses. In a moment, we'll hear what Sadiq Khan says he'll do about it. But first, Luke Hanrahan has our report. Three wheelchair users with three separate stories about how London's bus network lets them down. They contacted us and we arranged for them to confront TfL and bus drivers about the problems they face on a daily basis. The buggies will be on the bus and I try to get on, but they say to me that the buggies can't move, but they can actually fold up, but they just, they can't move, they, they say they can't move, they can't fold up, so then I have to wait for the next bus and that could be like half an hour later or something. Sometimes they say, oh, the ramp's not working. And obviously, because I've heard about the sensors, all they need to do is ro roll forward or whatever, but they don't. They just say the ramp's not working. You have to wait for the next bus. When I'm on, on board the bus and I want to get off the bus, the bus has failed to stop. And well, the, the bus has failed to deploy the ramp. The bus driver's failed to deploy the ramp 51 times. It's not just a daily battle with buggies. Amanda Phillip from North West London said buses often don't stop for her. James Feltham from Sutton says buses are designed badly, making it a struggle to board. <laughs> and Chris Stapleton from Tooting says the problems he faces are getting worse. Today, bus drivers and TfL's managing director were put on the spot by our wheelchair users who didn't hold back. Sometimes when I get off, they forget that I want to get off and then they swear at me and I'm just think, I'm thinking, why are they swearing at me? Please make sure you take, when it's a registration number of the bus, you run a number at the side of the bus, the time, the direction of the bus and make sure that complaint, first of all, is sent off to TfL. When the bus is packed with children, why can't they let me on? Why can't they let a wheelchair user on when they have a certain area? Unfortunately, we're not obliged to let um, passengers come off the bus just for wheelchair users to get on. They can make space for you if it's possible, but I cannot ask people to get off the bus. Sometimes when I get, um, want to get on the bus, they, they won't let me on and I don't, um, sometimes I don't know why, they just drive off. The pressure on a job, a bus full, and some drivers have no patience, I, I, I can tell you that. Um, but it's a shame and I, I really apologise for all the companies and drivers they shouldn't do that they should stop i hold you personally responsible for this what are you doing about it i'm going to make sure that every one of the complaints that you've made is followed through today's questions answered but the battle is ongoing for these wheelchair users at thousands like them luke hanran ITV News. Well, we'll be talking to Luke once again in just a second. But while that meeting was taking place at a bus depot in South London this morning, the mayor was in East London announcing new investment for step-free access on the Tube. 30 extra stations will be accessible, but the work won't be finished for more than five years. Via Chatterjee asked Sadiq Khan about that and the problems we heard about on the buses. Well, people who are disabled in a wheelchair, it's, you can't get up these stairs. And so it's not, it's not fair. The Mayor of London is on a mission. £200 million will go into the creation of step-free access stations. Um, hello, UK. Um, Good example. 170 stations out of 270 will still not be accessible. That's what's important. Well, I'm, I'm happy to pl blame previous mayors for, for not investing. I'm investing. There's never been a bigger boost in step-free access yeah, stations. But how will your investment help people who are struggling today. So by the end of the business plan, more than 40% of our stations will be step-free access. Well, here we're planning to have a lift, just literally a, a, on this side of the platform, but also one on the other side as well. And it's important. I've met uh, local residents who find it really difficult. Ben Logan is one of them. He has learning difficulties. I'm struggling to get on to the train because the platform's quite hard for me to get on to the train. And why is it important for you to have a lift? 
um, the the stairs are too um, scary for me. We've heard from a whole host of people with disabilities who say that the transport system in London just isn't fit for purpose. How can you reassure them? Well, just to be on my record, uh, the Transport for London Board is now more representative of uh, commuters than any other TFL board in the past. Uh, thanks to the changes that I've uh, brought about, I'm pleased to say Newbury Park, this station, they're going to start next year, uh, which is a record. Uh, our buses already are accessible. We're invested in stations. Well, they're not the accessible moment. because lots of people are telling us that they're getting left at stations, they're getting stuck on buses, that drivers are rude. I mean, it's a real struggle. Every single bus in London is accessible uh, to people in a wheelchair. Clearly it's not good enough that still there are too many underground stations inaccessible. It's not good enough that still there are almost half of overground stations not accessible. And that's why I've made the biggest boost to set free access in the history of London Underground. And it means a lot for Ben's future. The city will be a simpler place. Ria Chatterley, ITV News. Look, clearly there's been some progress with this and as Sadiq Khan said it's just not good enough. There have been some improvements but not good enough because with some people London's transport system is just still a nightmare. Yes, Sadiq Khan clearly talks a good game but for Chris Stapleton who featured in my report there was an even a problem for him getting off the bus on the way home tonight. He pressed the button to alert the driver to lower the ramp and was ignored, something which has now happened on 52 separate occasions. We know that TfL is excellent at responding to complaints, but you can see that in some instances, no action is being taken to improve things. In fact, it's getting worse. Bus travel is crucial for wheelchair users, especially considering there are so few tube stations in London with step-free access, as you heard in Ria's report. Of course. Well, Luke, thanks very much.